Hello, um, I have been posting a lot about my dad lately, um, thanks to a medium reading I had where he came through and I've been thinking a lot about him. It's also um, exactly 19 years since I last saw him before he died and it's uh, coming up to 19 years of his death anniversary. And I was um, inspired to write this uh, piece of poetry for him, about him. Um, now I haven't memorized it because I just literally wrote it down today. So um, if you excuse me, uh, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna read from the page. If I keep glancing upwards, that's why I'm doing that. Um, but the aim is to eventually learn this and be able to perform it. But here it is, I thought you might be interested in hearing it. An Ode to My Dad John Dermot, daddy -o, I miss you so. I last saw you in June 04, and three weeks later, you were no more. A massive heart attack took you away. Down on the kitchen floor you lay. I was at work only 23 when I found out my dad was taken from me. The years of smoking having finally taken their toll on this magnificent, beloved soul. I was taken away from you age five and brought to London with my mum to thrive. But I visited you when I could and we exchanged letters as we should. I heard tales told of you, the things you said and the things you would do, how you could paint and joke and sing all the talents you could bring, how your charisma would light up a room. I mean, you were the opposite of doom and gloom. Daddy the Paddy, that's what you were. Round, red-faced, a crooning connoisseur. You became more than just my da. I put you on a pedestal. You were a star. Stories of you made me grin. I was always so chuffed to be your kin. I remember you in your grey suit, hair parted neatly, brill cream to boot. Always a ciggy in your mitt, always full of clever wit. When you came to visit, I was full of nervous anticipation, mixed with awe and adoration. I wanted all your attention on me, and if not, I'd brim with jealousy. I remember my eighth birthday due. All my friends were jumping all over you. You were so much fun, it's no wonder. But at that time, it pulled me asunder. I stood and fought back the tears as the scene triggered all my deepest fears. You weren't there, Daddy, you were mine. I couldn't lose you again this time. And ever since, I've played out this internal strife with romantic partners in my life. But I have inherited much from you. I am your daughter through and through. The creative talents I've gladly received. I hope you're proud of all I've achieved. But I've got your temper, your bad side too. I get frustrated quickly, just like you. I wish I'd known you a bit better. Not just through sporadic contact and letters. I wish I'd known what really makes you tick what you liked and what made you sick. If I'd known you, I would have asked your advice. I'd have called you up, up without thinking twice. Instead, you became like a mythical creature, not directly in my life, but always a feature. But I am lucky. I know that because at least I know who my dad was. I'm grateful for knowing you as much as I did that I knew I was loved from when I was a kid. I'm thankful for the snippets of memories I have and the endless photos I've ha I have of you, Dad. Now you are in spirit and every day I know you are guiding me and showing me the way. You send me your wisdom and courage and strength. In spirit form, we've talked at length. When I feel weak or low or sad, I simply talk to you, Dad. You buoy me up and help me to shine. I can do anything with our bloodline. You remind me in life never to falter. After all, 
I am your daughter. You tell me that I am golden. And with these words, I embolden. So thank you. Thank you, dear Daddy-O. I miss you and I love you so.